Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to my studio. If this is your first time here, this is basically known as the basement Dano Dungeon, okay? And today what we are going to do it's basically to take a look at my collection of um what do you call this? I think they are known as transforming eggs figures, okay? There are animals as well as dinosaurs in this collection, okay? So let's go through every one of them together. You know, one by one to see what kind of um dinosaurs or animals are actually hidden inside, okay? And after this video, I'm gonna show you guys like where I keep my dinosaurs as well as animal collection, okay? So let's get started. Okay, guys, so let's begin, okay? The first figure, let's take a look at an animal. So I think you guys should have guessed it by now. This is pretty easy, it's basically um a zebra. So you can see these figures are actually pretty cool but I wouldn't say they are like collectors kind of figurines but they are definitely fun to play with when you transform them back you know into this shape it looks like an egg right here okay so this is our very first figure of the day I'm gonna put it right inside the box so we have a zebra next up are you guys like able to guess like what this is I think this is pretty simple long legs and um, a pretty, okay, I wouldn't say a long tail, but a definitely it has a very, very long neck. It is the tallest land animal, a giraffe. So let's fold this right back and place it back into the box. Very nice. I like this kind of um, transforming egg figurines because I, I know that you guys love them, okay? So let's transform this. Okay, let's have a look. All right, I think this is a tiger, but I'm not exactly sure whether it is a prehistoric tiger or a modern day tiger what do you guys think it definitely looks like a modern day tiger but these two canine teeth they look kind of um long and um it looks a bit like a smaller don if you guys know what a smaller don is okay next let's have a look at um one of the dinosaurs so wow this one has a missing leg so let's forget about this let's go with this bigger one so you can see we have a green egg right here and this dinosaur, you can see it has plenty of spikes on top. And this is actually a Stegosaurus. Yep, Stegosaurus. These are actually known as plates, not spikes. And it comes with a tail with four spikes at, at the end of it. So it's a herbivorous dinosaur. I mean, if you guys are not a fan of my, not a subscriber of my main channel, then surprise, then you, would, you may not know that this is a Stegosaurus. The okay, next dinosaur, we have, okay, I, I remember this figure. It is actually one of my most favorite figure in this entire collection. It is the Spinosaurus, guys. Let's get it out. So you can see it has a nice spine bone. It's known as the neuro spine bone, the spine lizard. That is what the Spinosaurus is known as. It is actually like bigger than a T-Rex, but not, not, um, I mean, not exactly like stronger than the T-Rex. Okay. All right, next up. Oh my goodness, we actually have a Playmobil figure right here. So I definitely need to place this into the right box. Okay. Next, what do we have right here? Elephant. Pretty cool. I mean, it could be a modern day elephant or it could be a woolly mammoth. I think it should be more like a woolly mammoth because it's brown in color. And if it's a modern day elephant, usually they would just paint it in grey, right? So, but we're not exactly sure. But for this one, we are definitely 100% sure that it is a rhinoceros. Very nice. And you can see it has like two horns. Very cool. Rhinoceros, if you ask me which is my most favorite animal, I would go with the rhinoceros. Yep. As well as crocodiles. Because rhinoceros, they remind me of a dinosaur which is known as a Styracosaurus. And this is the Styracosaurus. Let me show you guys, okay? So let's transform the, um, the legs out first. So all four legs are out. And it comes with this. Oh, the tail and the head. So Styracosaurus, it has a horn in front of its snout. And um, it is actually quite similar to the rhinoceros which is why you know i love rhinoceros because i love dinosaurs yep all right let's transform this back let's see what else we've got how about this one 
Hippopotamus. Yeah, really cute. So the hippopotamus is actually painted in red, which is kind of weird. But yeah, it's definitely a modern day hippopotamus. I don't think there is like a prehistoric hippo hippopotamus. I've never heard of it before. Okay, next up, what do, what do we have right here? This is actually like a Stegosaurus. I think it's a transforming, you know, figure. You can actually transform it into like a robot, which is kind of cute. Here's another one, it's a Triceratops. You know, I think you should be able to like open this up to reveal like the head or something like that. Not exactly sure how to, how to transform this. Um, yeah, but let's move on and take a look at the other figures. How about the big one right here? Okay, this one. This one, I think it's pretty similar to the previous one, but I think it should be like a cheetah. I think so. Cheetah or a leopard. Probably a leopard because this is actually very strongly built. Next, we have a Pteranodon, a prehistoric flying reptile. Really nice figure. You can actually like close it back. Pretty cool. Oh yes, this one is a pretty cute one. If you guys have like watched your Disney movie known as um, The Good Dinosaur and um, you would actually notice this is um, Butch. Butch, the, the T-Rex. The T-Rex from The Good Dinosaur is known as Butch. That's his name. Very cute little T-Rex and they're very kind-hearted. Yeah, it's such a nice mo movie. Alright, let's see what else. Uh, whether we have more animals. I think we have one more right here. This is a lion. Really nice one. Wow, the tail is really long. And you can see its majestic mane. Alright, let's transform this back. Yeah, pretty cute one. What else do we have? Triceratops. Let's get it out. Pretty cute one. Yeah, I know you guys are... You guys actually love this transforming egg figures a lot. Yeah, let me know why. Is it, is it like super fun for you guys? This is like the bigger version. Really cute one. Let's transform this. So, I think this is a Triceratops as well. Let's get it out. So, do you guys know that Triceratops is known as the um, three horned face? So, yeah, it has three horns in front of his face, which is why it's known as a three horned face. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very literal. Okay, let's move on. How about this one? This one, if I'm not wrong, is the um, Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus is like one of the um, sauropods. I would say the most famous sauropod out there. But you guys can see it's not easy to um, get the figure trans fully transformed. You can see this is a beautiful Brachiosaurus. So Brachiosaurus, you can easily recognize it by the little hump on the, um, its head. Okay. One of the legs came off. Let's pop it right back. And the Brachiosaurus is known as the arm lizard because the two front legs are longer than the hind legs. Okay. Do we have like more dinosaurs and I mean more animals? This is not a dinosaur for sure. This is a huge one. Pachycephalosaurus. Another herbivorous. Dinosaur. This is an Apatosaurus. Arlo from the good dinosaur. You can actually transform this. So this one is actually very interesting. Push it right back. Pretty cute little egg right here. This one is basically the same, so I'm not gonna transform this. Alright, let's have a look at this. Another animal. A cute little bear. Okay, possibly not super cute because they can be pretty ferocious as well. So I wouldn't use the word cute to describe like a grizzly bear. Alright, let's move on. This is the Smilodon I was talking about just now. So you can see it has a super long set of um, canine teeth in front. And uh, yeah, it's known as a smaller dawn, or you can actually call it like um, the saber toothed tiger. Okay. 
Next, let's take a look at this. Yeah, this one is a pretty cool Takara Tomi like walking dinosaur. It's a really nice one. This is a Triceratops. Okay. Here is another walking dinosaur. You can pump it up a few times, release it, and it will walk on a table. Okay, let's transform this and see what this is. Okay, this one is an Iguanodon. Let's just transform one side of the legs. I think that will be good enough because I want you guys to just have a look at what species it actually is. So it's, a, it's an Iguanodon. You can close it right back. Pretty cute one. Okay, this one, it should be a Stegosaurus. Let's open this up and have a look. Get the tail out. Get the neck and the head out. Yep. This one, it's the Stegosaurus. Pretty nice one, I would say. You can see four spikes, but I think there's missing like a, a piece of the tail. Okay. Can push it right back. Very, very cute. And um, they are actually quite fun to um, assemble. This one is a raptor. You can clearly see it's a raptor. And it comes with a movable jaw, which is nice. I think this has got to be one of the battle detailed figures. And here it's... um. I'm not too sure what this is, to be honest. It's not an Ankylosaurus. And um, it could be like a polar canters, probably. Okay, if this one is not a transforming egg figure, it's a mini T-Rex from the dinosaur train. Here's another Pteranodon. Can open its wings. Cute one. And here is, um, you know, what do you call this? The T-Rex that can be transformed into a robot, but I don't really know how to transform it into a robot. Okay, with these two, you have seen them, so I'm gonna put them away. Oh, here's another one. Nice. Let's pump it out a few times. Pretty cute. Guess what this is? I, I think it's pretty obvious. A Triceratops. We have so many Triceratops. What about this? Is this the Iguanodon? Yeah, it is the Iguanodon. So let's not transform this. Let's find something new. Yeah, this is probably something new. Okay, this is actually the tail. I've totally forgotten what this is. Okay, I, I remember now. This is actually the um, Allosaurus. Yeah, it doesn't really look like an Allosaurus, but it is an Allosaurus. Very nice. I, I love this series. This series seems to be pretty high quality. So let's open this one up as well. This is a Charyphthosaurus. Yeah, do you guys remember this little um, crest? Yep, Charyphthosaurus. A dog built dinosaur. As you can see, they have actually captured the dog build really nicely. So um, it's a close relative to the Parasaurolophus. And here's another Brachiosaurus. So what I've, what I've told you guys just now, the two front legs are longer than the hind legs, and there's a little hump on top of his head, so you can easily tell it is a Brachiosaurus. Easily tell. This one seemed to be a um, prehistoric bird. I mean, a lot of dinosaurs are were actually birds. This could be an Archaeopteryx. I'm not exactly sure, but I would think so. Archaeopteryx, probably. Not too sure. Yeah, let's just close it right back. Very nice. Very nice little figure, I would say. This one, if I'm not wrong, if I remember correctly, it is. It looks like a prehistoric rhinoceros. Yeah, Arsinoiftherium. This is a prehistoric animal. I don't think it is closely related to the rhinoceros, although it looks like one. This is probably the same figure. Yeah, we have a couple of um, similar figures. The Brachiosaurus, so let's not transform this. 
put it inside the box. This is the Stegosaurus. Let's just get the hit out. Yeah, there you go. And here's the plates. It's missing a leg. <laughs> oh dear. Poor Stegosaurus. Okay, let's have a look at this. This one seemed to be the Brachiosaurus, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay, let's let's play like a game. Let's try to guess the dinosaur or the animal before we even like transform it. Are you guys able to guess what this is? Pretty easy. It's the same one. It's another Brachiosaurus, guys. Wow, how many Brachiosaurus do we have? I think we have like so many different Brachiosaurus. So let's place this back. This one. Are you guys able to guess it? Very tiny little arms. Most likely a T-Rex. I think so. I can't remember, but I think it is a T-Rex. Yes, it is a T-Rex. Here's the legs. The arms are so tiny. Just imagine a T-Rex trying to make his bait like for the blanket is not it's impossible <laughs> i think that is like an old joke about the t-rex seems like we have a bigger t-rex but you can see although it is much bigger but the arms are still as tiny so cute okay oh this one one of my favorites one in, in our collection the plesiosaurus guys our one and only um plesiosaurus really nice yep this is our one and only you know prehistoric marine reptile really nice one yeah it took us like super long time to actually find this because it's so hard to find all these figures they have been with me for like many years this one looks looks new wow what is this camp Casmosaurus. I'm not exactly sure guys, so it is definitely not a Triceratops because this horn right here is sort of like flat. I'm thinking it could be a Casmosaurus. I'm not exactly sure. So if you guys know, let me know down below. This is a Brachiosaurus. Wow. Another one guys. Like how many Brachiosaurus do we actually have? This one seemed to be a um Raptor, I think so. Yeah, Raptor. Cute one. This is new. This is very new. Okay. I mean, this is not a species that I think that we have talked about so far in this video. But I can't, I'm not 100% sure. But I can't even get the hit out, guys. It's like stuck. Come on. Wow. Super tough. Can't even get the hit. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. It's actually a Triceratops. Really beautiful one. No idea why is it so hot to actually take it. Oh, so there you go. Push it back. Close it. Nice. This one is probably the same one. The one which I I thought it's a Casmosaurus. Okay, you're gonna put this aside. Not again. Brachiosaurus. Is this a Brachiosaurus collection video? Another one. Oh, this one is the same one. I really can't remember what is the name of this. Is it like a Polacanthus? Not exactly sure. Stegosaurus. Very similar to the um, previous Stegosaurus. Really nice color combination, I would say. This one looks very similar. Caritosaurus, we have seen this before just now. What about this? Another Casmosaurus! We have so many repeats. Stegosaurus, but this one looks um quite different. I mean, at least for the colors. Here's some T-Rex. 
Well, I can't even remember what this is. Triceratops. It's more or less the same as um other Triceratops, just with a different figure. Oh, in a different paint application on the eyes, and it looks kind of goofy. Pteranodon, another one, but this one seemed to be seem to have like nicer color scheme. This is the raptor, I suppose. Yeah, exactly the same. Okay, these are the hot ones. These are super, super hot to um, actually transform. So. This is an RC Noe Ethereum. You can see there's like two horns here are the legs. I don't want to transform the legs because it's so hard to like push it back. This is a T-Rex. A brown version. It has a missing jaw. <laughs> I just find it really funny because so, so many of my old figures, they have like missing arms, missing... And this one has a missing jaw. Can you believe it? Like, how, how is the T-Rex going to like chew the food? Okay, Arsene Noe Theorem. Yeah. No, this is not me this is not Arsene Noe Theorem. This is a Mega Cerops. I beg your pardon. What is this? Oh, a crocodile. I think. Cute crocodile. Probably a Sarcosuchus. Okay, if this one I remember, it looks like a dog. <laughs> it looks like a dog, but I'm not too sure what this is. I have no idea what this is. And the last one is also like something really, really cute as well. Like, what is this? <laughs> I have no idea. This looks like a, you know, I'm not too sure, like a dog as well. Very cute. Yep. So, this is basically my box of, um, you know, dinosaur and animals transforming eggs. Yeah, it's a pretty big collection. I'm not, you know, showing you guys this for like a long time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I don't mind doing like a Godzilla collection video soon. So, stay tuned. Okay? Thanks for watching this. Goodbye.